No, you don't want to? <laughs> well, well, let's just hang out for a minute. And uh, can I ask you a question? Do you like to take trips? No, you don't like to stay where you are? You know, when we take trips with our family, you know, uh, we want to make sure that we, you know, obey the traffic rules. What is that? You know what that is? What is that? Red, yellow, and Green. Excellent. High five. Good answer. And you know what that's called? A traffic light. Traffic point. Oh, you got all the answers already. Good. It's a traffic light. It's going to be very helpful when we're taking a trip, right? What's this one mean? Green means? Go. Oh, awesome. Good job. So green means go. Oh, here's one that's red. What does that mean? Stop. Stop. Excellent. So when we're taking trips, it's awesome to have traffic lights, right? What would happen if we didn't have? Crash. We'd be crashing, right? <laughs> Look, oh, here's one that's off. But what would happen then if there's no lights anywhere? We would crash. We would crash into each other. And here also, look, here it says some people can somehow hack into the lights and turn them all on at once. Would that be good to have a green light going this way and that way? Once again, what do you do? What do you say would happen? They do what? They crash. They crash, right? Let's take a look here. It would look like this, right? Ooh, a big accident. That would be really terrible. But you know what? In the Bible, it says we're also doing a journey, not with a car, but we're following Jesus. And there is a there are traffic lights, namely some things that tell us to go. This is a good way. And others that says don't go this way. Stop. You know where we learn? Where do we learn where to go in life? Well, how to find what's right. You know? If you stop, if you go past the red light, you broke the law. Eggs, whoa, nice one. Good. Before you're preaching the whole sermon here, that's good. <laughs> How about this? What is that? A book. A book. And you know, can you read it? It says, Holy Book. Bi Bible? Bible what? My goodness, you're doing amazing. You should come up every time. The Holy Bible tells us when it's green light to go the good way, also the red light when to stop. You know what happens a lot of times, though? People don't listen to the Bible. And what happens? They listen to this. This is an old-fashioned one. What is that? TV. Oh, 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 that's right. You know, the TV often tells us the opposite of what the Bible does. It's like sometimes the TV says, look, the lights are off. There's no rules. Anybody can do whatever they want. Or sometimes it changes up the signals and says, you know, everybody should go wherever they want. It's all green lights. And what happens when you go and everybody's going together? They crash. They crash, right? So that one is over here. So sometimes the TV's directions, in fact, often the TV's directions for life lead to a crash. You don't want to have a life that's all messed up, right? So what should we do if we want to have a life that goes in the right direction? We should follow, where is it? Light. And what is the street light? The book. The book. The good book. We should follow what the book says. And when we walk, where God says go, green light, and we should go. Where God says red light, he says, oh, don't do that. That's going to hurt you. It can lead to a crash. Then we stop, right? So just remember, Jackson, when you go through life, God wants you to get to heaven safe and sound. Just like this family. Look, they're all happy. The car is safe. And they all got married. And when we follow Jesus through life, we're not driving in a car. When we follow Him, and we do what the Bible says, go green where, go, where, it's, where it says go, red where it says stop, He's going to lead us safe to heaven. We're going to get out happy and secure up above in heaven where He is. So let's, uh, let's pray and thank God for Jesus and for His scripture, for His Bible, okay? Good answers today. Rest. Heavenly Father, we thank You for Jesus who saves us and leads us on a great journey. He says, come follow me. He leads us to heaven. Help us to obey his word, the Bible, the Bible, to go in the way that is right and good so we can arrive safely with you up where you are. Thank you, Lord, for loving Jackson and for all of us. And we pray that you lift us up in the love of Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you. You sure did great.